that night, Eloise never came back home. Huh? Huh? Where's mom? mom? Where's, Where's mom? mom? What the hey? What? What was that? Maybe it's just my imagination. Oh, good day, Squinty. Seems at least you slept well. I, I still can't believe it. Mom disappeared and... I think it's my fault, too. If only I'd realized it in time how late it was. Squinty, I've got so many questions. People disappearing, leaving no trace behind. How is it even possible? Are they still out there somewhere? And the monster I saw that night, why didn't it take me? The truth is that I don't know anything. But maybe someone in town knows something. Squinty, I've decided what to do next. I want to understand. I'll ask around. I'll start with Dad. Okay, Detective Squinty, let's go. Come, Watson. Dad? He's not home. What's this? Got a message. Good morning, Lucy. I need to help Tom in the field today. I'll be back soon. Please don't go out alone, and don't worry about dinner. I'll take care of it. I love you, Dad. P.S. This doll is for you. Look after her. Oh. It's kind of creepy. A gift for me. It's so soft. Dad's not here, and I can't go out. It seems that we'll have to reschedule our investigation. Uh, there's someone at the door. Yeah, I hear that. Oh, it's you, Miss Olivia. Hi, darling. How are you feeling? Not good. I'm sorry, what a stupid question. I... But don't stay there. Come, see what I brought you. Here, the cookies are still warm. I hope you like them. Where's your dad? He's not at home. I understand. Any idea when I'll be back? I'm really sorry, darling. It must be so hard for you now that your mother is no longer here. I still remember the night when she disappeared. I just wanted to talk to, with your father about what happened. Excuse me, but did you see her that night? Oh, what? No, no. I didn't see anyone. It's just that... She was coming to see you. She went out to return your basket. Yes, the basket. 
I found it in the front of the door. That's it. Dad won't be home for a little while. If you want to wait here, we can talk. I wanted to ask you so many things about. Oh, what a nice doll you've got there. Is that a gift from your dad? But of course it is. How lovely. Why don't you go play with your new doll? I'll wait here until he's back. But I wanted to... You know what? I've got a splendid idea. I'll just leave. Uh, bye. Hmm. I got some cookies. I wanted to know. We'll have some tea together and make all kinds of... All the bad thoughts disappear. Yes, that's a great idea. Hmm. Alright, so I have to make her tea. Um... I don't know how to make tea. This is... It's my mom's music box, but... What a mess. What happened here? The labels on spice containers are all messed up. I can't read anything. Oh. I get it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is going to take forever. This is the closest thing to a corner I have. Okay, maybe I'll start with this really big piece here. See, that's got some, like, grapes or something on it. Oh! Oh, that definitely fits. Are you serious? What if it does fit? I just had it upside down. Aha! Okay, we've got a piece going. That's a really good start. We can get rid of some of these bigger pieces by getting this one done. Let's see. I'm not entirely sure this one goes on here. I love puzzles, but this is a little much. My mother just went missing and I'm here solving this, whatever this is. Oh, okay. Another piece of that one. That looks like it goes there, but like, not really. Like it... Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. I bet this goes there. Yeah, okay, that's one down. Aha! That one was completely by accident. I'm not gonna lie. I can't turn this one. Oh, there we go. Oh, because that one was so close to being in place, but it just didn't have the connecting piece. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Where do you go? Boom. I did it. And now we're going to make some tea and save my mom. Now I can tell what's tea and what's chili powder. You got tea leaves. Okay, I think I probably have to take the tea leaves. Oh, I need a saucepan. Grab the saucepan. Okay, and now we combine saucepan, tea leaves. Oh, we take the saucepan and we add water. Okay. And then we take that, add the tea, nope. Okay, do we boil it? Yes. It won't take long. Got hot water. Ouch. And now, tea leaves and hot water. And we got some tea. And now we can give the tea to Olivia. Thanks, honey. Oh, delicious. It's not the same as your father's, but you're definitely his daughter. Of course, I'm not a kid anymore. I can take care of things. 
True, true. You're no longer a child. Oh, they grow up so fast. So you can tell me what happened to, to tell Dad? Oh, what you wanted to tell Dad. Oh, well, but... Why don't you go outside and play, Lucy? Today is a beautiful day. I'll just sit here and sip your tea as I wait for your daughter, your father. Be a good girl. Nothing. I couldn't convince her with the tea. I have to find another way. Well, let's use our singing song. Okay. Ball. Oh, because they were best friends. And of course it rips. Because it's a major plot point, so I'm going to have to fix it with minigames. All right. Um. Oh, I think I maybe have to start the top one. No. Yes? Go like... No. Go like that. And then like this. And then I can come around and go like that. Alright. Alright, so they're playing ball. That's Miss Olivia and our mom. The ball went into the forest. They freaked out. Olivia went into the forest. Came back. Mom is crying. Oh, I just remembered a story from when I was little. You know, your mother was always very reckless. One time her ball ended up in the forest and she was so bold she went after it alone. Oh, it, I had it the wrong, the wrong way. Can you even imagine into the forest? She was not afraid of, of them. But she should have been. I've had the impression lately that they were stalking her. Oh my, and I was her best friend. No, no, they must have seen me with your mother so often that... Wait a second, what are you talking about? Lucy, Lucy darling, you, you're afraid of monsters, right? You never go near the forest, right? You must never do it. They see it when you do. If your mother's been taking, they'll have their eyes on us. Don't go near the forest, Lucy. Sorry, Lucy, I... I think I know where my father could be. I'll go looking for him. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Run! Olivia, she scared me. Whenever I try to understand, adults try to scare me off. I don't care. I won't give up. I want to know what happened to mom. I'll ask around and take notes. I'd use dad's letter to write down clues. Let the investigation begin. Hello, Pupperino. Aw. What's wrong? You look sad today. Hmm. What's with this hat? Okay. Cool, I won't take it if you don't want me to. The woodworker must have lost it. Hello. Hey there, how are you? Keeping myself fit with some hard work? The pipes. Are you fixing the pipes? Oh, that I am. I used to be a plumber, you know. I just couldn't look at these broken pipes without feeling guilty. That's great. Actually, we haven't been able to get water from the fountain in a very long time. <laughs> Don't worry, kid. When I'm done, you'll have all the water you want. Great. Enjoy it, then. Hmm. Oh, the axe is gone. Uh, the woodworker seems to have taken his tools with him today. One end of the rope is tied here. Hmm. Mom. I'd like to know what happened. It's so upsetting. I actually really don't like it. <laughs> that little girl. Excuse me, may I? Ugh. I wonder, can I use my song on him? What are you mumbling, little girl? Go play elsewhere. Oh, he doesn't like us singing. Hi, Sonny. Hi, Lucy. If you're looking for the others, they're all playing by the bench. And what are you doing? Mom asked me to prune the plants. They're getting all a little out of control. No. Having fun? Well, the small leaves are tedious, but with the big ones, you feel like you're making a lot of progress. It's not bad. Okay. That's not true. It's really boring. But you know how Mom is. Duty first and duty after. What are you doing around here? I'm running an investigation. Mind if I ask you some questions? Sure. Mom. 
You know my mom. I heard. I'm very sorry. How are you? Well, I've been better. No one in my family has ever disappeared, so I can't imagine how you're feeling. But if you need a friend, you know where to find me. Thanks, Sonny. And Lucy. What's up? I know you, you're brave, but don't go trying to look for her. I'm serious. I wouldn't want my best friend taken by the monsters. Sonny, you're the responsible one, not me. Lucy. I'm joking. Don't worry. I won't go anywhere. I just want to learn more about the missing people. I know. I understand. Adults don't tell us everything. You've noticed it too? Yes, but I'm sure they do it for your own good. They don't want us to worry. And the same goes for me. Don't make me worry about you. Fine. The monsters. What do you know about the monsters? Well, they live in the forest. They roar at night and kidnap people. Yeah, but like, what do they look like? Well, I imagine them being ugly with lots of eyes and some thick black fur. I think I saw one. You know, the night my mother... Seriously? Were you scared? It was just for a moment. I ran away immediately. I remember its white mantle and its roar. It must have been horrible. You know, you're the only one I've told this to. Oh, Lucy, you shouldn't tell anyone else. Adults are always freaked out by these stories. I don't know what they would think. They'd probably kill you. They're the ones who told us about the monsters, though. And if they thought it was there to take you? I don't think it was. It didn't follow me. Imagine their reactions. I don't trust the others, either. We're all too afraid. I wasn't planning to tell the others. Just you. Alright, Lucy. Be careful. Have you ever been to the forest? Of course not. My parents get angry if I'm late for dinner. I can't imagine what they do if I went into the forest. I've never been there, either. The only one who can go in there is the woodworker. You might ask him. However, asking adults these questions might not be a good idea. They don't like talking about it. That old man down there. It seems like he's mad at you for something. That man over there keeps staring at me. I think maybe he hates me? I don't know why, though. He seems important. It's making me nervous. If you want, I can try talking to him. Are you sure you won't get angrier? Don't worry. I'll be nice to him. So this guy is, yelling, is being mean to what's-her-face. There's no one here who knows how to treat flowers right. They have no passion for it. Well, these flower beds look beautiful. Perhaps they only need some water. Water? There are already there are dry leaves everywhere, old branches that need to be cleaned up and the ground is too hard. It's not a flower bed, it's a forest. Oh, so are you a gardener? Gardener? Who, me? You young brats don't know anything. Well, tell me. And I would know. If I may, can I ask him questions about the town? What can you tell me about the forest? Haven't they taught you anything? Uh, no. To do what? Talk with the monsters? You could have asked me more. You couldn't have asked me a more stupid question. Reading is hard. All right, the monsters. Do you have any idea what the monsters look like? They definitely resemble brats like you. Leave me alone. All right, cool. Glad we talked about it. I'll make sure to smother you with a pillow tonight. Looks like when he was a kid, his mother used to do flowers. All right, um. No. I think. All fixed up, let's see this memory. All right, so he was young. His, he used to like flowers. His mom gave him a flower. Flower said hello. Hello, Starshine. The world says hello. It's a beautiful blue cobalt flower with wide petals. I think I've seen that before. I think this guy's an idiot and doesn't get out much. I'm pretty sure I know where one is. Hi! Hmm? You are... Lucy! Ah, yes. 
Eloise's daughter. May I ask you a few questions? Questions? You kids should just be playing and fooling around. Leave questions to adults. She's not going to tell me anything interesting. Gosh, is that what kids nowadays think about? I was just thinking that maybe if I knew better, I'd be safer. Little girl, you shouldn't be interested in such things. Just follow the rules and you'll be fine. I've been living here my whole life. Things have always been like this. There's nothing else you need to know. Do you know what monsters really look like? Have you ever seen one? What? Young lady, we don't talk about such things. But I want to know more. The monsters kidnapped my mom. Of course, I understand the problem, but... This is no good, child. You can't just go around bothering everyone with your questions. You're not the only one who has so lost someone, dear. Has it happened to you? See, this is precisely the sort of question you shouldn't be asking. Uh, sorry? Remember this, kid. Rules protect us. Those who don't respect them find themselves gone. For good. You will accept this with time. If someone disappears, it's always their fault. That's not true. Mom's never done anything wrong. Foolish girl, don't raise your voice. Ugh, I'm just wasting my time with you. I'm gonna push you backwards into that river. Don't test me, woman. And it's gonna rip. Oh, no. Oh. Did all of her friends disappear? The soothing sound of running water. The river was already here when I was a kid. I'm happy that despite all these years, the town is still here as it once was. People though, people are not here anymore. What do you mean? I've seen many faces on and off these walls through the years. Oh. Why do we hang posters of missing people if nobody goes looking for them? No, no. The posters are there just to let us know who disappeared, not to help us find them. But has anyone ever tried? Only fools try. They always find the end they desire. Monsters waiting for them and no way to come back home. What a sad game. Oh, there it is. I see it. It's locked. Olivia must be still at my house. Well, I want in. Oh, actually, let's go over to where the bakery was. Let's see what what's up. Oh, there's silver. Stop right there. No one passes, especially not spies like you. Still on guard, Silver? Of course, I'm the best. Did you get kicked out of their games again? Yeah. I'm the best at that, too. But yeah, it's totally your fault, Spy. I haven't forgotten. Anyway, I have to stay here so you can't pass. Sunny's mom is always in the kitchen making sweets. I rarely see her around. They say if you meet her on the street, she'll give you cookies. She's so nice. But Sunny has to help her out so much. Yeah. There's my mom. Hello, Papa. What are you doing here, little girl? This is my field, not a playground. Go bother someone else. That surly old man. And he complains about our pranks. He deserves them. Excuse me, can I ask you something? I'm working. Uh, the forest. Have you ever been to the forest? What? Who told you that? No, no one. I was just asking. That's ridiculous. Everyone knows going to the forest is madness. Tell me, do I look bad to you? I mean, you want me to answer that honestly, or... Kids nowadays. I want to know everything about the people who disappear. Can you tell me anything? What's there to tell? They didn't respect the rules. Your father told you a million times, so... Don't think I don't know what you're doing. Excuse me? You're here on behalf of your snot-nosed friends. You're hoping I'm the next to disappear, right? Sorry, but it'll never happen. I know very well how to live here. Certainly not like kids who bother people while they're working. Keep on like this and I'll end up taking you too. You'll see. But I didn't say anything. I've known your father for a long time and I'm telling you for your sake, behave. Have you ever seen a monster? No. No, that's not how this works. The monsters are the ones watching us deciding who will be next. People who raise their voices too much, the loud ones, those are the ones they prefer. So the rule is simple. Stay quiet. Isn't my father supposed to be here? Hi, bunnies. Lots of fun staying in a cage, right? Wait, so where's my dad? Oh, hello. That's my mom's song. How do you know it? Oh, oh well, I, what is it, Lucy? Wanna ask me something? A song. I know that song. Oh, so what? 
So why are you singing it? Because I sang it way before your mother. Huh? What are you saying? Who do you think taught it to her? Me, of course. I don't believe you. Everyone says you're crazy and she never told me about you. Well, of course your mother doesn't know me. I'm just a crazy old lady. And singing is just for frivolous people. Singing is not frivolous. Well then, would you like to know how the song continues? I mean, yeah. Listen well. I gotta know. Is it? Yes, it's the last one of that. You're a very promising little girl, Lucy. Oh my, it's almost time. For what? Ah, well I was wrong, my watch is broken. Have you seen the monsters? Yep, of course, all the time. Really? I remember the last one very well. It was a frenzied farmer screaming at his hens. Terrifying vision. Ah, I understand, that kind of monster. To me, they're all, they are the real monsters. A forest. You, do you know anything about the forest? Well, it's a place full of trees. What kind of forest are you talking about? There's only one kind of forest. The one where dis people disappear. Oh, that one. Of course, sure. That's how the forest must look to your eyes. You're so young. Why? Was it different before? People don't talk about it. How could they talk about times when things went better? If all they can do is fear the present. Oh. What was the forest like before? You said the forest used to be different. Can you tell me the whole story? Of course. Once you know, the forest was inhabited by so many happy birds. But then one terrible day, the king of the forest decided to keep with him only those birds who chirped the best. Eventually, they quarreled. And wait, what happened next? I, I don't know. What are you talking about? Oh, yes. Maybe they were all devoured by monsters. End of story. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, I think she's making fun of me. Was there anything else you wanted to know? I learned a song. A song of... Some items can hide precious memories. This song can help people recall those memories. Oh. Oh, rotate the cells to create a path and solve the labyrinth. Use this knob to rotate the starting cell. Connect it to other cells by using gears and rotate them together. Oh, this is madness. Create a path to the exit. <laughs> so if I put it there and I rotate this, it rotates all of them. I'll rotate. Okay. And if I do up here, okay, you can't, it has to connect to the start. Okay. Okay. So this is going to go like that. Oh, well not. Wait. Okay, so you kind of have to work backwards. So you get these to the position that you want, and then you take one out. What? It doesn't stay? No. Okay, so that spins it this way. So that way, that way, that way. So I need this one to be able to spin this way. Okay, I think this is it. Boom. Alright. Oh, time. Oh, God, that's bright. Oh, it's Olivia and my mom. What did that do for me? Oh, she like negated it. She cast counterspell. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode of The Children of Silent Town. Thanks so much for hanging out. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the sub button and follow me on all my links and join our Discord. I'll see you all next time. Peace.